Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Coaching with Ray. Today I'm sitting here with Dylan. How's it going Dylan? It's alright. How old are you? I'm 16. 16 years old. And uh, Dylan, how did you get this appointment man? How does someone 16 years old get a coaching session with me? Uh, my uncle set up this appointment for me. Who's your uncle? My uncle Trun. Oh, he must have some pool, huh? Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool guy. Yeah, I, I know him very well. And so your Uncle Trung set up this uh, session, and what was your hopes, expectations? What, what were you thinking about as far as uh, before you came here? I was expecting to think more positive hmm. because of my past. It was pretty bad. Yeah, you had some challenges in the past, yeah? Mm -hmm. And so you came here, and the hopes was that I would be able to help you with some of those challenges? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and what happened? Uh, I feel better now. I feel way more positive, and I forgot about the bad stuff. <laughs> I mean, you had some pretty, pretty bad stuff. When you say bad, you know, it could mean all kinds of things. But for you, these uh, events that actually occurred in your life was really uh, hurting you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And and in what kind of ways did it hurt you? Could you share a little bit? Uh, it hurt me, like, uh, mentally. Yeah. Like I always thought about it and stuff like that. So it, it kept like bugging you in your in your mind. You kept what hearing and seeing things or remembering things. Kept on remembering things and seeing things that were very unpleasant, wasn't it? Yeah. How did how did those memories make you feel? What kind of emotions did that make you may come out of you? It made me feel mad, very mad and sad inside. Yeah. So it was a mixture of sadness and anger, right? Yeah. That's a really uncomfortable thing, isn't it? Yep. And uh, you've lived with that for quite some time, right? Yeah. Because you had some challenges. And then having to endure those challenges made you go and do other kind of stuff. Your grades started to... Yeah, uh, they started to drop. The grades started to drop and, and, and started to get into some little trouble here and there. Yeah. That kind of stuff, right? And that wasn't making you feel good either. No, it wasn't. Yeah. And it made you feel even worse. Yeah, it did, when, actually. When that happened, right? And so we went through all of those those experiences in, in, in your past together, didn't we? And you did really a great job. I mean, I, I really appreciate you sharing openly, you know, all the little things that, not the little, but the big things that happened to you in, in, in some detail as well. Was that uncomfortable to share all those things with me? Kind of was. Yeah. Because you never did share those things with anybody, did you? No. You just kept it to yourself. Yeah. You held it all in, right? Why didn't you share it with anybody? Because I didn't want think, I didn't want anyone to think that I was weird or anything like that. Mm, mm. Yeah, I was just scared to tell people too. Yeah, what do you think would have happened? What were we? What were you scared of them? What rejecting you or, or not liking me? Not liking you, yeah, not liking you. That was a big one, right? And so that led you to to maybe do some things that you normally wouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah, and hold some things in. And we, we went through all of those things, right? We went through it together. Yeah. And I, I did a special process with you. And once we were done, what happened? I felt good inside. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, the first thing you said is, I feel positive. That was the first <laughs> words came out of your mouth, right? Yeah. I felt positive. And uh, what, what else happened when we started to go test those memories? Uh, I forgot about them slowly. Yeah. And it didn't bother me anymore. Yeah. Like right now. Does those memories bother you at all? No. They're gone, right? Yeah. And what did I tell you before we started? I said, Dylan, what would happen if all those bad things that happened to you <coughs> was all of a sudden gone? That means the memories of them, the emotions that accompanied those memories was no longer in your life. My life would be great. <laughs> your life would be great. And so that was the, the question that I asked you before we started, right? And then we did it. Is that what we accomplished here today? Yeah, we did. Do you feel that that we were able to successfully uh, address those memories, those bad things that happened in your life, and now that you're not feeling it, can your life be great? Yes, it can. You feel that, right? Yeah. And you love sports, right? Yeah. What sports do you like? I like football. You like football a lot, right? Yeah. In fact, you played a lot of football. Yeah, when I was in Florida. In Florida, right? Mm -hmm. But before we started, you, you didn't think you would be able to go back to play football and stuff like that, right? No. Nah. Yeah. Why is that? Because of the things that I've done mm. that messed up my body yeah. physically. Yeah. And 
just I wasn't committed and stuff like that. You wasn't committed, yeah? But how do you feel now? I feel like I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> can you say that one more time? I feel like I can do anything. And it really feels real, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It feels real. Yeah. Which includes playing football, right? I'm a big football fan. <laughs> and I am an alumni tiger. <laughs> What school do you go? Tell everybody what great school you attend. McKinley High School. You guys heard that? McKinley, bro. McKinley Tigers. <laughs> so he, you're a Tiger, and um, your goal is to get on the football team. Yep. Man, how much? I mean, McKinley needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> McKinley could use a good DB slot back to help those guys. That'd be fun. I would love for you to make the team. You think you can make the team? If I do my best and try my hardest, yeah, I will. <laughs> That's right. And are you going to try your best and do your hardest? Yes. I know you will. And if you need help, guess who you're going to call? You. That's right. <laughs> Who's the best coach out there? You. <laughs> <laughs> so my goal is to help you achieve your goals. That's what I do. As a coach, my, as a coach, my job is to help people like you achieve your goals. So if football is one of them, let's go make that thing happen. I love to just come to your game. And what, nice. what you play, okay? And so that being said, would you like to say anything to your uncle? Uh, thank you, Uncle Chung, for everything that you've done. Love you. <laughs> yeah, man. He's a great, great man. And I, I was really touched by his gesture to offer this to you. You know what he said? He says, whatever Dylan needs. You know, no matter how many sessions that he needs, I want you to coach him. <laughs> you know, I want him to do good in life. I want him to achieve whatever he wants. So I thought that was like, wow, what a, what a uncle, what a uncle, what a gift. <laughs> does that make you feel good about that? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, to, it does for me too, man. <laughs> and with that said, how do you feel about your future? I feel like I can do better. Mm. Does it, is your future more exciting now? Yeah, it is. You know, previous, your future wasn't looking too good for you. Nah. Yeah? But now, how's it look to you? I feel like I can do anything. Wow. How does that, what does that feel like when you feel like you can do anything? It feels really good. feels real good? Mm -hmm. You know the word that we like to use is unstoppable. <laughs> you know, we really like that word. I used to be called Mr. Unstoppable during my days, <laughs> you know. And uh, it's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I want to thank you for allowing me to coach you. Yep. And uh, spending this quality time together and also doing this video. How was this video? Not too bad, huh? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and so for those of you that tune in and watch these videos, thank you very much. And here, a 16-year-old young man can be coached, you know. And I've coached my nephews, my nieces. The earlier we get them started with the coaching, I think the better the life can be. So this is just another example of our younger generation receiving the coaching that they so want. You know, how does it feel? It feels so much better to feel the way you're feeling now than you were previously, huh? Yeah, because I'm not hiding anything anymore inside me. Yeah, you were holding a lot of stuff in, weren't you? Yeah. And that alone was hurting you and making you feel bad. Yeah. And making you feel guilty, right? All that is gone now, right? Yep. Good. Great. <laughs> you feel great. You feel great. You look great, man. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys and, and consider if, if you're child or your nephew like in this case you think could use some coaching maybe it's time for you to give me a call or email me at the coordinates that you'll find below info at ragenow.com and until next time everyone remember to live your greatness aloha